Well, uh, bee relocation is different from uh, wildlife rescues. Um, only the cavity nesting bees. But with respect to these uh, rock bees, relocation is not a sustainable solution because these bees, as I told you, they cover larger area for foraging. That means their familiar area is so big. So when you relocate when you when you have to relocate you will have to completely relocate them away from the urban uh, settlement so there you will have to release in the wild okay so here uh, you know the people who are doing it right now uh, so called relocators they are into making quick money unfortunately so more number of hives they relocate in a day more money they can make they cannot relocate one hive away from Bangalore, say 55 to 65 kilometers away from Bangalore, if they have to release wherever there will be no apartments and no buildings. Bangalore is growing, so they will have to go away from Bangalore and release. So they cannot release only one hive per day. So they are making money and they will have to relocate more number of bee colonies in a day. And that's why they will get everything in a bag and they will release them in the next road or the next cross or the next block and again they will go to some other same kind of apartment buildings uh, relocation is is not a sustainable solution only two things we can do we can work on one is with uh, uh, the uh, small hacks by understanding their migratory time of the year they will get in uh, when is the swarming time of the year and when the swarms are getting into Bangalore that we will have to see so there are two seasons post monsoon and in the beginning of summer so when we observe these two seasons we will have to block all the spaces wherever the usual swarms will come and nest you can block them uh, not completely you can tie some dangulars and uh, tapes which will be swinging to the wind. So the bee colonies, they will not prefer a space wherever there will be a disturbance because they will have to grow their colony and, and maintain their brood. So if something is swinging and hitting the uh, hive, uh, they will not consider that space as an ideal nesting space. So they will uh, not choose that space. When we address the balconies, we are going to save 70% of the colonies in Bangalore. So when we do this small hacks by avoiding them getting in, in, in the uh, balcony space, we are saving a lot of bees. So if they are going and settling in some beams and projections of the same building, we can leave them, let them complete their life cycle in a particular season, they will go. They are not going to stay there forever. 70% of the colonies will stay only 3 months, their, their time will be only 3 months. So the next 20% may stay for 6 months and the last 10% may stay for 1 year. So that's why if you wait for 3 months, you can save 70% of the colonies in Bangalore, in, in urban India. So that's why this uh, knowledge of uh, bees and how to behave when they are when they are so near uh, so if we know this we can really think of coexistence